Mav here from the Page Racing. Today I'm going to be back another talking video, and this is about NASA's latest discovery. So basically, about yesterday on the news, NASA released that there, that there is a very high chance that there could be alien life. Alien life can be on places like Saturn because they've discovered that that the places like that can support um alien life so today we're going to be having a look at it and seeing like all the news articles about it then we're going to like read into it so then you guys know about it okay so here we are we're at um we're in google and we have searched nasa thinks there might be aliens so i think we should go with the top one because that's like the top story it is by the independent let's click in three two one go okay NASA announces one of Saturn's moons could support alien life in our solar system. This is like big, big things. Like we we only thought that like the only life is like animals and humans on Earth. Oh, yep, yeah, an ad. Ugh, typical Google. God, this website's ad ridden. God, wow. Might be alien life in our own solar system. NASA has announced. All of the necessary things to support life have been found on one of the moons that orbits Saturn. So basically like loads of moon, loads of little moons like orbit Saturn and like NASA have discovered that there's enough like resources for there to be alien life. Of course it isn't actual alien life, but it is um the but it is like life and it isn't any life that's discovered on Earth. So let's carry on reading. Enocalidius has chemical as chemicals that when found on Earth tend to indicate life, suggesting that it might be living things under its icy shell. So basically breaking that down, um Enkelidus en 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 um is like basically something that can like store thing things like chemicals that can like support life and all that stuff let's so let's like read it through again so enceladus has chemicals that when found on earth tend to indicate life so like it's showing that there is life there so like so if you're digging underground or something and then you come across enceladus that is a sign that there could be life Okay, let's read the next paragraph. Scientists have long thought Enceladus as one of the prime candidates for life within our solar system, in large, in large part because of its sub, uh, the sub, subsurface ocean that covers its entire body. But the new research gives the best look yet at the moon, showing that it is a chemical energy source capable of supporting life. So, like, it's just talking more about the Enceladus thing um how it can like support all the life and all of that stuff um so i'm guessing like once they have discovered that there is life on there i i'm guessing like in the next century or so we are going to be trying they're gonna be trying to like build stuff on there and like maybe even humans might live there that is how crazy this can go they're like stunning pictures of NASA. Whoa, okay, let's have a look at these pictures. Okay. Right. Whoa, it's like a close up. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is amazing. Whoa, what is that? No way. These pictures are amazing. Right, that's like Saturn, one of Saturn's moon. New star, X-ray streams off the sun and stuff. Wow. Saturn, worlds apart. Whoa, that's like, that's like the, that's like the gaps between all each different planets. Like that's Earth. That's Earth right there. And then that's the moon. Why does it, oh, that's probably because the moon's closer. Solar flare? 
Oh, I've seen that somewhere. I've seen it in like someone's intro, I think. There, there we go. The close up of Silver White changes colour. Oh, this is sick. Oh my god. It's like the galaxy. Mars Road the Spirit. Oh my god, look at that. That looks so good. That's how the Earth looked. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen it. Like, there was this live stream going on from NASA for like ages and ages, like, of them like flying over the Earth. And it looks exactly like that. It looks so good. Oh my god, that's like all the reflections that make the blue sky we all, all grey in terms of England, of course. Um, like that's the reflections that make the sky then that's the um launch of a rocket what that's like a sp perspective of like all the galaxies oh my god these pictures are amazing Whoa! Oh my god! What is that? Huh? What's that? Huh? Oh, it's a landform! Oh. Expedition 39 landing. Oh, sick! Jupiter's Great Red Spot. Oh my god! Heart in the darkness. Oh my god, that's how many like different lights there are around our galaxy is so amazing. Oh my god, this is so cool. New things from yeah, it's just like talking more about um all of the all of the alien life on that could be on Saturn one of Saturn's moons. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, remember to smash the like button and subscribe to notifications on so you can be first to ever our videos. Join my free gift card giveaway. There are only 10 spaces left. Well, I'll just prove that they're, that they're not scratched yet. They are not scratched at all. So if you win, just tell me in like your Gmail or Instagram in the uh, comments and I'll like get the code to you as soon as possible. Anyway, have a nice day or night, whatever time zone you're in, and I'll hope to see you later. Peace!